today in Adventures in the Kitchen with Jerry, I am going to be making a dairy-free caramel dipping sauce. I'm hoping to be able to put this uh, either on top of brownies or put it in like the middle of the layer of brownies. Then it will be like a surprise. I don't know. We'll see. But first I need to make the sauce. So this recipe seems pretty easy. Never tried it before. Uh, so here, here goes nothing. Uh, Nathan just found this recipe maybe an hour and a half, two hours ago. And I just looked it up. I didn't even look at it. He said something about it. So here goes nothing. Okay, so the first ingredient is coconut milk. The recipe calls for a cup and a half. This can is almost two cups, not quite. So I'm just going to try dumping most of the can in, but not all of it. So I, I left a little bit in the can. So the next ingredient is two thirds cup of coconut sugar. I wasn't quite full, but I think it'd be pretty sweet with the coconut sugar. And then you add two tablespoons of honey, which I don't usually like uh, cooking honey because you lose any of the beneficial properties, or a lot of them. But I wanna, since this is my first time trying it, I wanna see what it tastes like with the honey. So there's just approximately a tablespoon. <laughs> Never mind, the recipe calls for two teaspoons. The next ingredient I'm gonna put in is two tablespoons of vanilla. Not measuring out, just kinda guessing. And then, the last ingredient is two tablespoons of coconut oil, and it is tablespoons, not teaspoons. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons in. So I'm gonna stir this together, but it's not gonna stir together real well at first. It's gonna take a few minutes to warm up both the coconut oil and uh, the coconut milk. The other, the honey was solid, but it, that'll melt pretty fast or turn back into a liquid. But the, you just let this simmer on the stove for 20 to 25 minutes, that's what the recipe says. And then they call for you to put it in the refrigerator. I don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna put it with my brownies once they're done. Or once I'm ready to put them in the oven. But I will check back with you guys when this is done. Just gonna, I'm just gonna stir this a few times. I won't, I won't turn the camera on for that though, probably. So. I'll be back for the brownie portion of this. I am trying another new recipe. I haven't, I found some pretty good brownie recipes, but I usually just Google one. And I saw this one recommended it on someone I follow on Instagram. So I'm gonna try it. Um, now, I am subbing out the butter for coconut oil to make it dairy free, but that is the only milk or dairy in there is the butter so i'm going to sub out the butter for coconut oil and follow the recipe pretty close she melts the stuff in the microwave and we don't have a microwave because well there's a few different reasons we don't have a microwave we had one we got rid of it uh, but so i'm going to melt this together on the stove top as you can probably see, I have my caramel sauce back there on one burner and I've got supper on the other three burners. So I'm gonna have to move one of my pans and borrow it for two minutes, but anyway. I'm going to add all the ingredients and I'll link them both in the, both the recipes I'm using in the description below. That way you can just look at it and go from there. Now I'm doubling the brownie recipe because she's using an 8x8 pan. I'm going to use a 9x13 because uh, we have it's going to be six people for supper so I want to double it. That pan's not going to be big enough. So this is what 
put the salt, coconut oil, cacao powder, and coconut sugar. Looks like in the pan. I just gotta let that coconut oil melt down and then it'll be ready to add to our dry ingredients. And then while we're waiting, this is what the coke or the caramel sauce is looking like. I think it's almost done. I found a helper. So we're gonna pour this into the jar. It was starting to smell a little burnt, so hopefully we didn't actually burn. It's still boiling pretty good in the jar, so. I didn't follow the recipe exactly, but um, it happens. The oven. It's gonna bake for like 35 or 40 minutes. Forever. And I preheated the oven to 325, so, so I'm gonna set the timer and come back in once the Boiled, and we were trying to. <laughs> it's <laughs> My brother tried to save it. He did. He really tried. I don't know what exactly went wrong. Anyway, so we did not get to try the brownie. <laughs> that was after I burnt the corn. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a good show of it, and I was just gonna make a second batch. And I don't think I, this. I know this batch is not burnt, but it didn't really set up very well. So I'm apparently a failure in the kitchen. I was told I'm not allowed to cook no more, except this isn't cooking. <laughs> Judy doesn't like to measure or read your recipes. I read the recipe. Isn't that occur to you that it had a lot of liquid in it? So anyway, I won't link, link this recipe down because, because uh, this is not a how-to video. This is a, I failed in the kitchen video. <laughs> when you burn the brownies. Give it to the chickens. And none of them even came over to eat it. They didn't even like my burnt offering. They liked your broccoli bits and lettuce better. Mm -hmm. 